So can I be more specific with a real life situation here? Totally, totally. And have your, have your help on this. So it literally was, as you described, a total random impulse where um, I don't think I was even necessarily consciously thinking about a different, like elevating my um, marketing process in terms of creating more lead flow traffic for my business, right? So, I mean, it's obviously an underlying desire that I've always had, but randomly I came across this opportunity and, you know, like kind of felt an impulse to learn more and be like, oh, what's this all about? I want to see what this is. And, and you know, then go to discover that there's, of course, a program that you can do and, you know, a whole step-by-step -step process. And then totally went into the mind. Then it was like, I totally went into like, okay, is this the right time? And I, I, I'm totally in the space of it. Now I was interviewing somebody else. Like, should I look at this program? So I'm totally trying to logically evaluate. Yeah if this is the right time for my business. And I can sense this hesitation of like, if I just had followed my impulse and was like, dude, this, is, this looks actually awesome. And actually this is the next step. And yet part of me feels like that's irresponsible. So if you knew without a shadow of a doubt that that impulse was coming from your inner being, that your inner being was giving you that impulse, Amanda, sign up for that course. Would you take it? Of course. Okay, good. So next time you get those impulse, and you know, this is, this is part of the learning, right? A, it's about understanding that those impulses are coming from your inner being if you're in that place of alignment, and then B, not allowing the logic mind to get in the way and talk you out of it. Yeah, that's totally what I feel has happened. So now I'm in the place of like, oh, I don't even know if there really was like, what I'm supposed to be doing or not. But so. that's okay. But the other thing too is to understand that just because your inner being is giving you the impulse to sign up for that program, you might still not get out of that program what you were hoping to get out of it. But that doesn't mean it was the wrong step, right? Oh, a lot of I may not get what I think I would be doing the program for. Is what but you're if you're getting the impulse, you're still getting what you need. Right. So a lot of people think that when they do something and then it doesn't turn out the way they want it to, that they didn't follow their inner guidance or that they screwed up or that they took a wrong step or that they were not a vibrational match. And in reality, the impulse that you receive from your inner being to that scenario or that circumstance may have something to do with some other aspect of your own growth, of your path that you have no idea. Right. So really you know, this new paradigm approach is really about understanding, hey, I don't need to figure anything out. All I need to do is follow my impulses, let the, the situation, the circumstance, the outcome be what it's going to be with the understanding that this is the best possible thing for me. Because my inner being is so unconditionally loving and wants nothing but the best for me, then of course the impulses are going to be the impulses to the things that are what's best for me. Okay, so where I'm at now, it's been a few days, I've been processing, like if I'm totally in my head, is it kind of like, okay, I've kind of already messed that one up, so just <laughs> have patience and see if I get an impulse again, don't analyze yeah, I, it stuff. I mean, you can never really mess anything up, so like, you yeah. can't miss the boat. So when it comes to manifestation in your inner being, you know, there's going to be an infinite number of boats until you finally get it, right? So my advice for somebody in your shoes would be like, take a step back. Don't feel like you need to figure it out. Get back into alignment and then see what your impulse is telling you to do.